So the next one uh, that we need to know based on the syllabus is the features of a drainage basin, the source, watershed, channel network, and the mouth. Okay, so what is a drainage basin? Let's start with that. Because there was a past paper question asking about the definition of the drainage basin. I forgot whether it is MC or one mark short, uh, two mark short question. So the model answer from the past paper is this one. An area of land drained by a mainstream and its tributary. So right here in the diagram, we can see that we have the main river, the thickest and the longest one would be considered the main river and the smaller branching channel that are called the tributaries, okay, tributaries. So over here, we say the drainage basin is the land and the main river, land, tributaries, the area of it combined. That is the drainage basin, okay? So we have several terms for the drainage basin. The first one, watershed, it is the imaginary boundary joining the higher grounds. So what does that mean? It means that, so let's say I have a mountain, right? And then some rainfall over here, the rain droplet can either go to the left or go to the right. It cannot flow through all the way on the top of the peak, right? So not that possible because of gravity, the rainfall is going to go either way. So let's say I have a river on this side then I have drainage basin A. And then I have another river on the other side, then I have drainage basin B, okay? So the watershed is the imaginary line separating different drainage basin. So it will be something like this, drainage basin A and drainage basin B, okay? And then we have the source of river. The source of river right here, we can see is where the river starts. So river source, you can see starting quite straightforward, not much um, particular to say. And then we have conference. So what is conference point? Conference point is where two tributaries join, or it could be the tributary, one tributary joining the main river. So right here, you can see we have a smaller tributary joining a bigger river, the main river. It could be a main river or could be a bigger tributary. We don't actually know. This one over here as well, you can see the smaller tributary joining a bigger one. So this section where the two streams of river meet, we say is the conference point, okay? And finally, we have this tributaries. So it's kind of uh, opposite of tributaries. That's why we call it the tributaries. So it is at the river mouth where the river meets the sea or is the end of the river. We call it the river mouth. And when the sediments along the whole river are washed into the river mouth where it joins the sea, we have that position. Later on, we'll explain that. And usually when these sediments are deposited, it's going to create small ridges and blocking the main river channel, the exit of it. So as a result, the main river is split into smaller branching channel at the river mouth. So right here, we can see we have one branching channel, another one over here. And then on the above, we can see one over here, the other one, one over here, the other one over here. I think there's also one here as well. So these are all distributaries, meaning it only happens at the river mouth, okay, where the river joins the sea. Got it? 